Oh, guys, it's Josh with Deprived Productions, back in UE4 with the third Minecraft-style tutorial. And today, it's going to be very, very quick, very fast, a personal preference, if you may. But, just so if you, you, know, if you haven't touched on the series, number, the tutorial number one, we learned how to make the dirt grass block. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? It's actually very simple. We got our diffuse. We got our normal. It's very simple. We used the starter content. We got ourselves a little, little block here, no problem, right? And then the, the MC. The MC, some a little construction script action. We, we made the X, Y, four loops and added a sine wave to the Z axis of the location of the blocks it's placing, adding instances, instant static meshes, right? So if you haven't watched those tutorials, you may want to go check them out unless you already understand what we're doing here. But today I want to make a change. Now, the reason I have this to set, set obviously the tile size is supposed to be set to 100. Because today all we're going to do is we're going to make an adjustment to our material. Very simple. Every block, man, I mean, you can see it. It's driving me crazy. I know Minecraft does it, and a lot of block games do it, but voxel-style stuff. But, man, every block, I've set it back to 105. Set it back. Set it back to 105, bro, okay? Because you can see that every block, every block has the exact, it has the exact same material on it. And that's fine. That's just really repetitive, man. You know, we're going we're gonna to fix that right now. So I'm going to jump into the Minecraft style. I'm going to go to this top grass, which is literally, like I said, just the top layer of grass here, okay? You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna jump into that right here, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get an oh, type in a world position. Now we're gonna use the world position as our UVs, okay? You know what I'm talking about? There's a couple of different things we can do with that actually. But we're gonna end up masking out to where we only use the Z channel. You know what I mean? Like so it's in like you know X Y Z. You know what I'm talking about? Like we only want to see the, the the object, the up, the bottom, and the top of it is all we want to affect. So check it out. Check what we're gonna do here. We're gonna need to get a multiply. So you can type in the word multiply, or you can hold the letter M, however you want to do it. And I want you to multiply it by a number. We're gonna hold the number one and plug it in here. Okay. Now I don't know what that number to be. I don't know what I want it to be just yet. So let's just set it to one. Okay. Now we're, all we're gonna do is we're gonna mask. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mask out the red and the green, right? We only want the blue, plug that into UV. Now, let's see what happens here. All I wanna do is, I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna save it. Now again, we would need to copy and paste this down to the normal, but we'll check that out in a minute. Let's just see what happens to our material. We're only looking to see if that'll affect the top of them, and it definitely did. See what it did? But it's tiled a billion times. Now don't pay attention to the normal map, okay? It hasn't been fixed yet, but the texture's being tiled a billion times, so it's simple, check it out. We're gonna set this number right here to point Zero, zero, two, okay? And all I want you to do is now copy and paste that whole thing. Control C, go down here. If we set it up correctly, Control V and plug this into the UVs of our grass on the top, again, off of the world align blend that we created in tutorial number one. Again, if you haven't checked it out, go check that out. If you don't understand what's going on here, it's very, very simple. But the point is we'll go back now. And what do I got? Okay, I got the grass. But as you can tell, every block, it's slowly... It's kind of like a texture coordinate, but it's taking that material over every block. So if I set it to 100 now, instead of 105, and you can kind of see what's going on here. You can kind of see now that it's one, oh God, one stretched plane of grass. Now, even though the dirt still repeats every block, look at that grass. It doesn't actually repeat near as bad. You know, it has that kind of look. And again, that's why I have it separated, showing you one more time that when you separate the blocks, you can actually see that they're not repeating. And I go, I get it in Minecraft. This is just a personal preference, guys. I like the art. I like the fact that you can kind kind of separate a little bit, make it look a little more realistic, even though it's block-based, you know what I mean? Just kind of cool to stretch one material over all the blocks instead of having just every block have the same material over and over. It gets rid of the repetitive aspect. All we're going to do now is apply this to our dirt and our grass. Now, it's just a hair more complicated here. You know what I'm talking about? We need to grab another absolute world position. We actually need to grab all this twice, okay? One right here and one right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to keep the same thing, okay? We're going to keep the same number. We want the point zero two, But the thing is, we don't want to actually mask out the red and the green anymore. We, we, we want the green on one, so we're going to get rid of the green and change it to blue. And this one, I'm going to get rid of the red and change it to blue. So we got green and red, and we got, no, oh, no, God, oh, God. We got red and blue, and we got green and blue. And yes, we're going to hold the letter A and we're going to add those two suckers together. Okay, you know what I'm talking about? Now, what that's doing, it's covering every other side of that cube. Not the top, but only the left and the right, the forward, the back, the, the, the left and the right. And the thing is, that's exactly what we need to cover because we're trying to cover what, if you, if you remember the world blend, this is the sides of the cube. And so we're covering that now. So I'm going to go ahead because God, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to look pretty. I'm going to control and paste that or copy and paste that up to the top. Make sure it's plugged into my textures. You know what I'm saying? Because it's only touching on them normals. And I'm, 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 I like to touch on them normals, but like, you know, we got we to gotta, we gotta do it right. So let's save it. Let's put everything together. You know, don't be scared. 
I'm a little scared. I ain't gonna lie to you. But the thing is, all we're doing, guys, is real quick. If this is it, we're done. You know, I just wanted to kind of clean this up a little bit. And as you can tell now, look, the dirt even is getting stretched out. And even the grass, even this top grass, look at it. You can see that it's not the same. It's slowly changing. It's not this repetitive nonsense. So let's set it back to 100. Just kind of make a look at it, get a, get a little look at it, right? We set the tile size to 100, and that's how we do it so we can actually see a block-based world. And all I've done, guys, is set the length and width to 200 by 200 and go set the frequency and height the way I kind of like it but as you can tell now it's a little less repetitive and look how this is how easy you can tell see this look at that look at that all the different all the different uh there's not as much repetition there you can literally go to your minecraft right here and then just unplug all these four this ad this bad baby right here oh, 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 this bad baby right here go down to this one and do the same thing get rid of this one and get rid of the ad and you can immediately save it and you can see the difference so again you can go back and forth really quick and kind of see what i've done there and it's very simple it's it's not a lot we just use the world absolute world position to mask out the, the different things we need based off. But look how much more repetitive that is, guys. You know what I mean? And, and the thing is, each block is its own instance. So you can't just use a texture coordinate. You needed to stretch over the world position. So that's exactly what we did, guys. So, guys, I'll, if we haven't talked much about the world position and stuff like that, I hope this taught you a thing or two. I literally, like I said, just walking you through it one more last time. We'll go up here. I took only the blue channel. That's the top and the bottom, right? The Z. And then I took the, I took the, oh, I'm sorry. I took the green and the red channel for the sides of it, which makes perfect sense if you honestly think about that. And it's taking the absolute world position, which means base, it's, it's literally just stretching it over the entire world if we wanted to. We could, this number right here, this 0 .002, that's our tile, kind of like the texture coordinate. You could tell when I had it at one, it had done it a billion times. So I separated it a bunch by doing it, multiplying it by 0 .002. Again, if I changed it to something else, it would change the tiling but I kind of like this. And guys, that's it. Just real quick, I wanted to show you that you can take this terrain you've already got set up if you've watched the first two tutorials or if you've, or you already know how to do this. But you can take it and kind of separate your tile, separate your artwork a little bit. Separate your tile things a little differently, but still be able to go in here and actually separate your grid for whatever reason you need to. But the material stretches over the entire terrain and you can kind of see how each block has its own custom, almost like a custom material. It's in its own custom tiling range. So boom, all kind of math or something I don't know, guys. Thanks for watching, though. Josh with Deprive Productions, loving and missing. You go hit the subscribe button on the Deprive Productions YouTube channel. Go hit the like button on the Facebook Deprive Productions and go follow Deprived. Capital D at the beginning, capital D at the end on SoundCloud. Support us, man. We love you. We miss you. Get involved. Well, I got a couple really, really cool things coming. That's why I wanted to pump this out really quick today. I'm about to shoot a little something. We had some fun the other day. Me and Card Shark from Mixer.com. You've seen him on the channel a couple times. Me and him get together and show you something kind of neat here really soon. But besides that, guys, thanks for watching. I love you. I miss you. Back in Minecraft, we got all kinds of cool stuff coming. I've been really busy with some neat stuff. I can't wait to show you. But hope this kind of showed you. Just look again, just a personal preference. But you can kind of see how the blocks. Just have a little life, a little more life to him, bro. Not as repetitive, okay? Little, we're, we're adults. We're doing things real. You know what I'm talking about? Until next time, peace.